Praise be to God. Praise to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, He is the eternal Word of God. He is. He is the image of invisible God. Hallelujah. It is Lord Jesus. Yes, He is. Who is called King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. It is Lord Jesus. Yes. Who is called Alpha and Omega. And Omega. Hallelujah. It is Jesus, who concerned for the sin of man, yeah, yeah, who concerned for the separation between man and God, yes, 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 yet he came and died on the cross for us, yes, he did. Bible tells us God made man and woman in his own image, yes, yes, Bible tells us man and woman made a free choice, yeah, to disobey God. Yes. Bible tells us separation between holy God Amen. and man took place when man and woman sinned against holy God. That's right. That's right. God of Bible did not step back. That's right. God of Bible did not watch what happened to mankind. Mm. God of Bible stepped in time and places. Yes. To find the ways to bring mankind to Him. Amen. And it is God of Bible who promised us the Messiah. Yeah. One day he is going to come and take away the sin of mankind. Oh, hallelujah. One day Messiah is going to come and bring us back to God. That's right. That's right. We praise the Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And that day came approximately 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Eternal word of God, Lord Jesus Christ, stepped into the time, took up human nature, lived among us, and he died on the cross for the sin of mankind. That's right. That man and woman can go and spend eternity with Holy God. Amen, amen, amen. Bible tells us we are all sinners. We all sin against God. We all sin against one another, and we even sin against creation God did. That's right. But it is also the same Bible. Gives us hope. Hope that man and can, man and woman yeah. can make right with God. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. Only that only that right to be take place, we need to repent and look what Lord Jesus did on the cross. Yes. Lord Jesus Christ finished the work we needed to go. Yes. He made us right with God. Our responsibility is we repent and put our trust on Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. And live our lives as sons and daughters of God. Yes. Under the grace of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We praise the God. Amen. Who deserves all the praise. He does, he does. We praise Him. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. As we look at the Bible, yeah. we see the Bible makes very strong historical claims. Oh, yes. The Bible tells us, Lord Jesus Christ, man called Jesus, died on the cross by crucifixion, which is a historical fact. Resurrection of Jesus and death of Jesus is the foundation of Christian doctrine. Yes. It is the foundation of my faith. Mm. Yet, we come to the history and then we meet someone called Muhammad. He brings the book called Quran. Oh, yeah. Quran tells us, by the way, guys, <laughs> Jesus didn't die. Yeah. And also, it is the same Quran identifies Muhammad mm. as a prophet of God. Mm. As a Christian, we have a problem with that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, absolutely, we have a problem with that. You see, what the Bible says is in John chapter 14, verse 6. The Word of God says, Jesus himself says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. See, Jesus claimed exclusivity. Now, what's happened is many people have found different ways, a variety of ways of getting to God. 
They've chosen Islam. Some choose atheism, Buddhism, whatever it may be. But what Jesus said is there's only one way, only through him. And what the scripture says is that there's one God and one, man, uh, one God and one mediator between God and man. And his name is Christ Jesus. And today we want to declare that there is no other way to attain salvation but through Jesus Christ who demonstrated his love towards us even while you were a sinner, he died for you. Muhammad didn't die for you. Buddha didn't die for you. It, uh, he was a, he was a, the Bible says that he was a lamb without blemish, a sinless man. You cannot die for yourself or you cannot face the consequences of your sin for yourself. But Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the creator of heaven and earth, stepped down, incarnate as the, as the, as the, uh, the atonement for mankind. And today, you can receive salvation. Amen. As we look at the Bible, yes. we see Bible talks about false ideologies. Yes. Bible talks about false prophets. Right. Bible talks about false gospels. Hallelujah. Jesus prophesies those yeah. things. Yeah, 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 we look yeah. at the Bible and then we see prophet of Islam yeah. identified as a false prophet. <laughs> Muhammad is a false prophet. Yes. In the Old Testament, yes. Moses identifies Muhammad as false prophet. Yeah, 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 we do. But today, yeah. 1.8 billion Muslims yeah. are following this man called Muhammad. That's right. Believing he is the prophet. Mm. Believing he is the last prophet. Yeah. Believing that he is the best example to mankind. Okay. Today, what we want to do is, we want to look at the Islamic scriptures mm. and then see if Muhammad was really a man of God. That's right. Was Muhammad really a prophet? That's right. Can we trust his revelation? Mm. That's a good and question. That's what we are going to do. As we do that, yeah. one of the sources we will be looking at is the Quran, yep. which is the holy book of Muslims, <laughs> the eternal. Unholy God. book, yes. And also, we will be looking at the customs of Muhammad, to hadith, what Muhammad said, what Muhammad did, yeah. when he smiled, <laughs> when he did not say anything. Yeah. And put those together and then see if does is if Islam yeah. gives us the impression. Okay. Like the 1.8 billion Muslims are following yes. that Muhammad is the prophet of God. That's right, that's right. Short answer is no. Muhammad is not the prophet of God. But let's look at the sources. Sh should we start with Surah 16? Yes. Yeah, okay. We're going to read from the unholy Quran. Surah 16, um, Ayah 98. So, when you want to recite the Quran, seek refuge with Allah from Satan, the outcast. Verily, he has no power over those who believe and put their trust only in their Lord. So here, the Quran is saying that Shaitan or Satan, as, as we put it in English, is has no power over those who put their refuge or their trust in Allah. Therefore, for all our Muslim friends, specifically for Muhammad, Shaitan, um, Shaitan should not have power over Muhammad. Is that right? Brother, can we read the rest of the verse? I've read um, the two verses, 98 and 99. Yeah. Should I read 100 as well? Yes. His power yeah. is only over those who make friends of him. Okay. And those who ascribe partners to him. So Satan has power over you if you yeah. if you are friend with Satan. Yeah. Yeah. If you are yeah. man of God, yeah. Satan should not have power over you. That's right, that's right. What the, that's what is the what the holy book of God? So the Quran says, says, yes, says 
Muhammed is the best example to mankind. Yeah. Since Muhammed is the perfect prophet anyone ever seen, <laughs> I am sure Muhammad Woo. never become a friend with Satan. Surely not. Sure Muhammad never had to have hot chocolate with his with, friend Yeah, Satan. you know, a little coffee, you know, a little sit down in Starbucks with Satan. I'm sure he didn't do that. So should we, should we find out what the actual sources say about their relationship? So we go to the customs of Muhammad. Yes. And then we see if Muhammad ever, ever become deleted by Satan. Okay. Um, Sahih Bukhari, 3175. Yeah. Right. I have to read that from there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, Read yeah, do you want to read it? Yeah, it's up to you. Do you want to read it? I shall narrate it. Once the prophet was bewitched, yeah. so that he began to imagine that he had, it, he had done a thing which, in fact, he had not done. Ah. So, Muhammad, according to Islamic tradition, yeah, yeah. making it, making like thinking that he's done the thing, yes. yet, his child wife is telling us, no, he did not do, but he was bewitched. Wow, what, what, do, I, what do I move him first look at? That? That's interesting. Are you Muslim? No. no. I'm just asking. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We, we, we don't... We're just asking... People feel yes. knowing that man was supposed to be the example. Yeah, because you don't have Muslim on your forehead. I was just asking. Yeah, we don't know who you are. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think of the question anyway? In terms of, in terms of, how does it make someone feel to know that Satan could be bewitch you? Well, it's bad news, isn't it? I'm yeah. Bad news. Very bad news. Yeah. Very yep. bad news. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It doesn't only stop in Sahih Bukhari that mm. Muhammad was bewitched and he imagined the things that he had not done. Mm. It goes on. Brother, can you read the next one? Okay. 5765, Sahih Bukhari. Right. Okay, if you, if, you, if you read that, I don't know why it's not coming. I read it. Yeah. I shall read it. Magic was worked on Allah's apostle so that he used to think that he had had a sexual relations mm. with his wife while he actually had not. Ah. Then one day you figure that? he said, Oh Aisha, do you know that Allah has instructed me concerning the matter I asked him about? Two men came to me and then it goes on like this. So Aisha is testifying that Muhammad coming out and then saying, I had a sex with my wives, but wives are saying, not really, you didn't have sex with us. So here's the options. Did Muhammad had a sex in... I'm not he, 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 could, he could have lied. He could have had sex with demons. Or he could have had sex with his wives. So who was telling the truth? I, should, I mean, um, his wives or Muhammad? Because Muhammad is claiming he had sex with his wives. However, they say, no, we didn't have sex with you. What are you talking about? This is crazy. How can you think this? Actually, that's very disgusting. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but that's disgusting. It is disgusting. But we want to know, are you Muslim, my friend? Can you, yeah, so could you explain that to us? How is it, Muhammad? You know, in his mind, or okay, let's just let's say he claims anyway that he's had sex with his, these wives, but then he goes to ask them, hey, you know, he starts to talk to them about it, and then they say, no, we didn't have sex with you. Who was telling the truth, Muhammad or his wives? Muhammad was telling the, the truth. But here in the, what is that, the hadith you read? It's in the hadith. The hadith, which is the explanation of it. It is narrated by Aisha. Aisha. Sahih Bukhari. So he's saying, no, uh-uh. Muhammad didn't have sex with them. So are you listening? So how does it make you feel knowing a prophet who's supposed to be examples of all mankind? 
very related to the elite is authentic. So there's a lot of elites which are not authentic. Is Sahil Bukhari authentic? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Another, another day, yeah. Muslims start throwing another hadith under the bus <laughs> by questioning the authenticity of it. <laughs> Sahil Bukhari is already identified as the Sahih hadith. Yes. But for the historical reason, Sahil meaning what? Actually, reliable, trustworthy. Actually, you will never and never and never know what Muhammad said mm. and did. Yeah. Because those hadiths are already written down very, very late. But, sake of the argument, we go with the Muslim mind yeah. who trust the Sahih Bukhari and then we ask them the question, your prophet, which, and then he imagined that he had sex with his wife while he did not have. What does it say to you? Yeah, it says here magic was worked upon him. This is the first time I've ever heard of a Ah, you haven't been reading the hadith. This is the first time you, you haven't been reading them. How long have you been Muslim, sir? Many years. More than five years? No, yeah. Have you, you ever been on a different faith? No. So you always been a Muslim. Yet today you are hearing from Christians yeah. who are telling so fortunate. you Sahih Bukhari stated Muhammad was okay, under the magic and he had a sex. He imagined that he got a copy of the Bukhari here. Wait, 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 yeah, I mean, we can give you the um references. the references. You can check it for yourself. And also Sahil Bukhari, three thousand. 175. Yeah. Okay. Well, check yeah. I'm not a Christian. I can only deal with Sah You can check Sahih Bukhari 5765. Yeah. But, folks, have you noticed mm. a man who has been Muslim all of his life suddenly, first time, hearing from a Christian yeah. what his prophet did? Wow. That's a bit disturbing. Yeah. Why Number, number which one? 5,765. Yeah. 5,765. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what, what, what is um, really, um, I suppose, bizarre and very sad is that Muhammad is supposed to be this great role model, this perfect example, this person that all Muslims should follow, but yet they don't even take a few minutes or take some time after years and years of being a Muslim to look into He's actually his actual history and who he was and his practices. Actually, it That's very sad. Mind. Yeah. We know what are the important things to say, but today we are questioning Muslims yes. on character of Muhammad. Okay, so what is the what is the verse that you are pronouncing? Can you read it? Narrated by Aisha. Magic was brought on Allah's apostle so that he used to think that he had a sexual relations with so his let me, wife. Let me read for you the correct version. Now. Had not. Let me read for you so, the correct version. So you have different versions then, yeah? There is only one. So you can there, there's only one. You could have made it up. Okay, I'm so. I'm looking at an, an authentic guide here. Okay, which shows. Read it, yeah, okay. As Aisha reported that Harith bin Hisham, who is actually the narrator of that, not Aisha. So please get your facts right. I think you must be joking. Keep, keep reading. Keep reading. Be careful. How does the Wahi inspiration come to you? He said, at times so it comes you, to me like the, the ringing of a bell. It's not the same Wahi. You're reading the wrong five, hadith. Seven, six, five. Five, seven, six, okay. five of the Shahi so, Bukhari. Yeah, let, let, but let you say, yourself yeah, quoted say. to me. So, let me no, say you, something. You quoted to me. Which number? Five, seven, six, have five. You, have you finished? Have you finished? Yeah. Five, seven, yeah. six, five. No, let me respond. No, no, no. no, no. Wait, wait. Can we come to that, actually? That's on the list as well. well. We're going to come to that verse, yeah? Sahib Bukhari is numbered in many different ways. Yes. Oh, sure. So, it has but, but hold on to that. We're going to talk about that. It has three different versions. It has three different ways. Mm. So you need to find the honey, which talks about magic was worked on Allah's apostle. Okay. If you can't find that, Maybe my brother can just um, search and then give it. Five, seven, six, five on Google. Come on.
on, let's do it together. Right. So, sir, we have you checked out what I just said? Can you listen five to seven I six five is the one you quoted, the one I am reading. Okay, so should we, should we just no, 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 no. Should we, let's talk about five, we, we will, six, five. we will, you but we're asking. What we? Ten minutes you've been talking about. That. Okay. Let's talk about that uh, first. Uh, are you listening? Okay. So what my sister said. Uh, let me go to the internet. Uh, uh, hold on. Is it? So, I'm just gonna give him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let me just get it for you. This is my Google. Yeah, it is. There you go. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. So what we're saying is that. Hold on, hold on. What we're saying is that we're gonna go to that verse. We we have no problem with that. But what you're doing is you're not listening. We're saying the hadiths are um, are numbered in different ways, and so we're gonna actually find it for you, so you can check it. See, that's what we're saying to you, okay? So you can hold on to that verse as well, because we're going to go to that as well. So we're going to the hadith now. Okay, so here's the Arabic version. Sorry, if you come a little bit here. I don't read Arabic, so... Oh, you don't read Arabic? I do. Okay. I don't read it. I think you should speak to English. I read it from... Right. Okay. Right. Read it. Read it. Yeah. Five seven six five. No, you you. Hold on, hold on. Before you read, you said we should Google it. We've just Googled it and we're reading it. Yeah. You wait. You said it from your own mouth. Just Google it. We'll do it together. You said that. So we've done that and we're gonna read it to you. So just wait. Wait for us to read it. Okay. So we're gonna do that now. Yes. Okay. Name of the book is in. How do you spell in sunnah? I'm gonna tell Muslim how to spell. He doesn't spell even know how to spell sunnah. sunnah. I'm sorry. <laughs> A French version is different from it. N N A. You said. Okay. Yeah, go on. Dot com. Here is the hadith for yeah. those of you who are doubting, brother. Yes. And it states exactly the same. Shall so I read it? Yeah, it says that Allah's apostle was affected by magic. You didn't need, no, right there. I just, not this one. This one. You, are talk, uh, you are talking about the second one on that page. That's the first one? Yeah, that's the first one. The second one. Sunnah.com, when I do 5765, it says to me, sorry, there was no result found. <laughs> okay. That's, are you sure that you is a, is it this one here? Sir, where is this? Okay. This is uh, uh, affected by magic. This is the one here. Five thousand seven hundred and sixty-five. Good. Ma'am, you look at it as well, please. Five seven six five. Can you go to the previous page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's the previous page. That's the previous page. Okay. I'm looking at the site they gave me. So here we call it. Five thousand. Wait, wait, wait. What? It's here, sir. It's we're, we're reading it. So wait and be patient while we read it. So he There is no reference there. It is here, sir. Look. 5765, sunnah.com. No results. Let me open it up. So, so, so you got, you got, you got a dodgy search. You got a dodgy search engine. Okay, now, now we're making it up. Okay, you know what? Enough of you. Let's just read it for people who do really want to learn. Because he's, you know, yeah. 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 Five seven six five comes from Sunnah. Yes. I'm at Sunnah.com. Yes. Sahih Bukhari. Book 76, yeah. Hadith 79. Yeah. Same, another so, another reference from the same page. Yeah. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7, Book 71, Hadith number 660. Mm. If Muslims go to that website, same website, and if their website doesn't give it, I can't do anything about it. Can I help you? Here's the reference. Yeah. What? 
Okay, let's move. Let's, yeah, let's move on. Let me just say this one. Pakistan was Muhammad was affected by magic, and he imagined the things that he had sex with his wife. Okay, can you yet the point? He you don't did the point. not have the sex. Right. So so far we know that Muhammad was bewitched, and then we also know that he was, according to Aisha, he was affected by magic. This is the perfect role model which the Quran in Surah 16 says that if you are um, if you seek refuge under Allah the devil cannot affect you and also it is yeah. in the same Quran same word of Allah it tells us magic comes from the demons oh. according to Surah 2 wow. 102 wow. and again as brother you said Surah 16 tells us, yes. actually, if Muhammad is the man of God, yep. he should not be affected by the magic. Precisely. Yet, there is something not right. There's, There's something, something a bit fishy about this. <laughs> Sir. Yeah, you took the words out of my mouth. Hear what we have is. Quran identifies magic comes from the uh, demons. Yes. Quran tells us, people who are faithful to the word of God, people yes. who are Yeah. Yet, we have Muhammad, <laughs> man who is supposed to be the best example to mankind, yeah. got affected by magic. Yeah. And his wives are complaining about it. <laughs> he he upset the wives. Trust? How can you put your trust on a man yeah. who is affected by magic? Yes. How can you put your trust on a man who Nope. He cannot be the prophet of God. Mm. Yes, our oh dear Mr. Khan, you are putting your trust on this man who is been affected by magic. Yeah, yeah. And it's not funny to laugh at it because those things affect your eternity. Yes. Muhammad is the man who claimed to bring the revelation of the Quran. Yeah. Yet, we see his life is a bit fishy. Yeah. Yep. As we cannot put our trust on Muhammad, and we cannot trust what he says, but, but he is the thing. We have a God man called the Lord Jesus Christ, yes. who was never affected never. by black By magic. demons, no way. God forbid. Never imagined the things that he did, no. yet he did not grow. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Lord Jesus Christ doesn't only stand out as a perfect, best example. Yeah. He also stands out as man of God. That's correct. He also stands out as truly God, truly man. Who should people put their trust in him? Yeah. But you know what's interesting about that? Not only was Jesus not affected by demons, he cast out demons. Yes, you know, he was an exorcist in the name, in his own name, he cast out demons. And not only, and what I'll say is that if Muhammad was alive at the time of Jesus, he would cast out the demons out of Muhammad too. That's why not only Muslims, but Muhammad, everyone should know that it's only Jesus Christ that you must put your uh, faith in. Jesus Christ is the one that we, should, what we call you to. Amen. Amen.